Yo, what is up, my Shadow Army? So, this is Shadow Critics back again with another anime review video. So, yes, today I just got done watching this, uh, a roller coaster mindfuck of this anime, and I heard about it, just a little bit of it, but never seen the actual anime. And this one has 13 episodes, and this is called, uh, Serial experiment, experiment Lane, and or just Lane for short. And holy fuck, when I watched the entire episode, my eyes like, oh my god, it was pain, so much of pain in a good fucking way. And fuck, how did I say this? Um. It's hard to explain. It's weird. It's complicated. The dialogue is kind of weird. The animation is old. It's from the 1998, which is, is an old anime than me, honestly. Because <laughs> the anime came out like a year before when I was born. Um, damn, like... <sighs> I don't know what to say, because this anime is basically about the main character named Lane, who's a 13-year-old middle school 8th grade girl, who, um, with, who, she's just a, uh, your normal type of girl, she's not open up to people, she's more of a quiet girl, and she does have no, almost with no experience when it comes to, uh, computer, computers, Yet, then, the bunch of suicide actually happened each of everyone that she knows. And there was one classmate did commit a suicide in the beginning of the first episode. People thought, oh, it was just a prank. No, it's literally is a thing. And do you guys even think that she um, sent the message and the email before she committed suicide? Because people don't think of it. They think it's a prank. Okay, if it's a prank, would she still be here? Not the main character, but the the first ever suicide that we've seen in the first episode. Just a random classmate. A random girl. And she... Lane, she's seen tons of strange suicidals. Hell, she even witnessed a suicide right in front of her at this party that somehow kids are allowed. From the middle school ages are allowed to go there. Which is kind of weird. And none of that. You honestly don't know what is real or not when you're watching this anime. Like, fuck. It, it, it got the, um... Like, just say, um... Um... When you watch this anime, you start to think it's kind of like the feeling of Sword Art Online and The Matrix. But it's much more fucked up and dark. And it has that dark tone, like, fuck. I mean, it's, it's uh, psychologically drama, mystery, sci-fi fiction, or sci-fi, um, supernatural, that type of thing. And holy fuck, it messed up my eye. And she, and she decided to go crazy with a bunch of uh, cables, wires, uh, computers, everything to create her own actual um uh digital world and she wondering like is there really a god in the digital world if so is it a lot more better than the god that we have in reality along those lines and it's so fucked up like holy shit and lane she started to become more you know push everyone away she became um um, outcast, uh, loneliness, and, um, what's the word, um, deserter, or something along those lines, and she is so fucked up, and, hell, she even says something about, you may not know, this might be a digital version of yourself, like, basically saying, we don't know how far the technology could be, and how far it will become, and we honestly don't know if the technology is going to go that far. See, hey, we're going to have like a digital version of yourself as a hologram AI version of yourself. Like, what the fuck? That type of technology? And there's like a message in this anime, if you guys are interested of it. It's just 
Like, is this real life? Is this what it's like? Uh, what is death? How how does it feel to die? Does it hurt? Or or something along those lines? Like, fuck. Like, you, you like, you can't think or anything. You feel like you're dreaming when you're watching this anime. Because the animation is make you feel like what the fuck is this what the fuck did i just witness what the fuck am i watching i feel like i'm dreaming but i'm not asleep i'm awake but what the fuck is going on and it's just mind fuck hell the plus said after ever since the um the the random suicide and all that lane pulled herself into the world of the wire where she learns that nothing is what it seems to be not even Lane herself and it's so fucked up like cause she's she has passion when it comes to technology and computers all the way and she doesn't be like around with other people she never made any friends which this anime basic about you know have um um, have connection to people in person instead of just online. I mean, yeah, nowadays people are starting uh, building and making friends on online like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube, um, um, Discord, all of that. And it's just, yeah, that's how we do now because, I mean, do people even really started connecting to people in reality these days nuh-uh nuh-uh not really and hell ever since the internet uh, came around we started reveal our true self our true nature something that we want to do something we can't do on reality or like you know talk shit talk talk sh you know i can't even i'm gonna repeat the same word because it is a mind fog like a mind grain and hell there's something like you know death threats and people talk shit about this and that that's basically how reality is now because of the technology something we could do something that we cannot do in reality along those lines and it is so fucked up like i i came in completely blind and i was mind fucked like shit I can't even say any words, and because I've been stutter a lot, because again, it is mind fucked. I wish I could remember the whole detail and what has been going on. It's just I cannot remember every single each moment because, like I said, mind grain, mind fucked, and holy shit, like you can't even keep up. What the fuck is going on? It's that fucking dark, and yeah, um. It's a good anime, but sometimes you might forget on uh, what the fuck is going on in the anime. But you know what this story is basically about in general when you watch it along the way. I mean, like I said, it's 13 episodes long, short, and each episode is actually 20 minutes tops. And it's just fucking hell, man. But... Anyway, you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my other channels, my social media will be down below. Scratch box, you guys know the drill. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Neil before, shout out, Critias. I'll see you guys later.